Um, so anyway, there'll be some kind of settlement there. A good portion, probably 90% of that's going to go back into the game. But if I'll go ahead and start then we're down in Las Vegas because we have meetings with a really enormous mega church called Central Christian. They at their home campus have about 25,000 members, but they have about four other campuses around the Las Vegas Henderson area. I'd say about three to 5,000 at each one of those. So they're just an enormous ministry. They've had Jim Caviezel there, the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. So they're really well connected. You know, the Christian guy. I cannot think of his name right now, doggone it. Uh, but he's been a big actor in the last few years. And so anyway, they are in touch oh, with Oh, I know what you're talking about. You yeah, know, you're talking about the guy who's in Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. right? Right. I can't remember him either. Yeah, I, I know, know right? Okay, about, neither though. one of us. But he's a big star. But anyway, <laughs> lo and behold, we're also meeting with several millionaires after Christmas, at least two possibly three Christian millionaires. So Chris uh, Pratt. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Thank you, brother. Chris Pratt. He comes I, I'm, I'm not, I know you're not talking about Dave Bautista because that guy's got some really interesting opinions. But no, yeah, yeah, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. I worry about him, though, because he married Schwarzenegger's daughter. And I'm like, oh, Lord. When I heard that, uh, he married Arnold Schwarzenegger. Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt did. She was oh, a did. Maria Shriver and um, uh, our Schwarzenegger's daughter. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So somebody protect him. Well, but, you know how families can be these days. Yeah. So maybe there's a lot of disagreements and stuff there. Well, she's know. supposed to be born again, too. That's the reason he married her. They go to church together oh. fervently. They study. That's what the story says. I hope it's true. Huh. But regardless, uh, Central Christian is well connected. Uh, if they take us under their wing, we're going to be able to reach a lot of people and we'll have this game out ideally we'll have the beta testing this summer we'll have the game out available uh thanksgiving to christmas of next year 2022 and there was a glitch the other day i, I don't own much crypto but my nephew got me into this thing called xrp and i bought 13 dollars worth of xrp as soon as biden got in i swear this plays into this i swear and we, as soon as biden got in they went after xrp with the sec enough uh, abbreviations and the Securities and Exchange Commission is supposed to be court ordered to pull their investigation off because XRP has been ruled a currency okay so anyway all of the people who hold XRP were got this a notice uh, from Coinbase that something happened the other day and for about four hours I was worth 121 million dollars <laughs> <laughs> it was a hack. It was a hack. And it was on the Twitter sphere. It got out there on the blog and it said the XRP, I only own $13, bro, had re, re, uh, what's the word for it? revalued at 22 million per okay so i was like oh, man our yeah. company's taking off i was getting ready to, <laughs> we're gonna make it but all type millionaires for four hours <laughs> yeah for four hours i was tony stark or elon musk so I, was, I made $121 million that day, right? But here's the thing. I, you yeah. should have sold it right then. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it. yeah it locked up, bro. It, it locked up. It wasn't letting us do anything. And, oh, that's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> but here's what inspired me, though. I felt like the Lord was saying, one year from now, this is what you guys can be worth and more. Oh, wow, because be cool. here's why, brother. A lot of games that have been released from even small independent companies in the last four years have gone to 200 million or more in their yeah. very first year with their game. And one is Subnautica. I'm sorry, I used that as a measuring rod to it. These degree. are Oculus games or? Yeah, it's, Oculus it, it, it was on Steam. First, we're going up on the Steam platform, but immediately our game, bro, and I say our, because we're in this together. You, me, Justin, and we recently. Well, Steam is, Steam is still VR though, right? Yes, yes, Steam VR, and it's going on Oculus 2 Quest VR almost immediately oh, okay. when it's ready to go. And Sweet. And I got that directly from our programmers, of course, Justin being the lead developer, Justin Elms. So anyway, it's going to be available for all of that. But Subnautica in his first year made like $150 million. So there were small. Let me, that game. Let, me, let me look that game up. Sure, <laughs> Subnautica. Sure. Yeah, Subnautica. I've, I've heard of that game. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. a survival game. Oh, it's underwater. Yeah, it's underwater. That looks really, that you, looks really cool. You crash land on a water planet. And, how do I, and how do I share here? here the graphics first. were really good. Uh, the gameplay wasn't. Some people, uh, some of the people. Can you see it? it? Go ahead. Sorry, can brother. You, oh, can you see the pictures? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, that's the game you're talking about, yes. right there, right? And they have. Yeah, okay. They did a very nice job with their programming, no doubt. 
But wow. they they were an independent company. They had no success. It looks really nice. Pardon? It looks really nice. Yes, it does. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, sorry. And they had no successes before this. They were a small indie company, and they went to $200 million. They, of course, released a sequel pretty quickly. This game, Yeah, because that because then you got the money to do it. Yes, that's correct. Do it even better, right? This yeah. game, however, has a built-in audience that nobody's making games for. As we know, Christians and families of faith around the Word of God. What shocked me, and because of was your channel... Subnautica, Subnautica is a faith game, or what? No, no, just a secular, oh, okay. underwater, science fi fiction type of game. Science fiction game? Right. Okay. So right. this will be the first game, Noah VR. We'll go to noahvr.net, please, to check out what we're doing. If you want to get in on it, you still can. Once we sign, though, a church or a big investor or vote both, which could happen in the next three weeks... It'll close. That section will close for 10% for profits, right? So anyway, go check that out, people, if you would, and help be us break out. We just recently took on another group that wants to be with us over here called Light Word. And they were German Christian programmers who worked on Assassin's Creed. And I know you and I talked about this the last interview we went, we did. Even those guys who've been at the very, they just worked on uh, Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. These guys have been to the top of the top of the big dance, if you will. And they even marvel at our lead developer at how he does Justin and how good he is in VR. So that being said, uh, we, we, we will have this out. And I felt like when I saw that number, I could send it to you later, bro. I screenshot it, that $121 million. I felt like the Lord was saying, Tony, this may be a hack, but this can be what you guys are worth next year. And so that yeah, inspired I mean, me to just fight well, I'm, I'm even thinking, harder. I'm thinking to myself with, with what you're saying, uh, you have a number of programmers that are really interested uh, in yes. working with us, right? You had even some guys from Call of Duty, right? Yes. Was it Call of Duty? Out of so Texas. we have a number of... And that's not easy to do because you got... I've seen other people... I saw something recently... Uh, a, a group, I think it was the, uh, what is the guy's name? I can't, Dr. Disrespect. Uh -huh. Dr. Disrespect. Him and a, a few other programmers from, I think it was Call of Duty, are making their own gaming platform. Wow. Uh, so, you know, and then they're like announcing this super huge thing, and I'm like, well, we got guys from Call of Duty that want to work yes, with us. Do. I mean, it must be pretty pretty decent to get some guys like that on the team or potentially on the team so if, once we have some success like these guys did on steam like subnautica did we could potentially uh hire up a bunch of guys too and, and make a game much quicker uh, a follow-up also we already have all the uh structure made from the first game we can just easily work off that and just make a second one yes sir it should be a lot easier to make a second game and if you got a team then it'll probably just zip out real fast absolutely in, like even a few months six months whatever it would take you have another game out real quick after that so and then we could just keep piling on and, and more and more games <laughs> and then it. that would just really steamroll into something big it's already going to be something big even if you have a success i think what happened with subnautica is they went viral right yes so they, they did yes they did on steam yeah, so and, and and of course it's just like youtube i mean obviously not the same thing but i mean if you have something go viral on youtube then it will you know take a life on its own Amen. and it doesn't matter how much money you got because I'm, I'm like for example i had some uh channel i watched he, he sent me something in the, in the mail he's been around from the 80s okay uh his name's stan he, he has a prophecy you know club have you ever heard of that he's like oh i need 135,000 for a new you know uh studio and i'm like why do you need a studio man <laughs> uh you know, that's not going to get you views, you know. I mean, studios can help if you got all the stuff to, to back it up, but you know, it's it's funny because people don't realize how much goes into all this stuff and how much money can cost. But at the same time, like you could have success overnight and not even have you just have a makeshift thing like we got. We don't have no hundred thirty five thousand, and you right. know what I mean, we don't have. I mean, we don't have that in our company, and we don't have that into the game, and you know what I mean. Yes, sir. But uh, we're, we're, we're making it happen anyways. You know, we're making Amen. it happen with shoot string budget. 
Yes, that's it. And through the strength of the Lord and the Lord opening the doors. And as I had a pastor tell me, an associate pastor out of Fayetteville, Arkansas, a few months back, he said, Tony, do you understand how many evangelical Christians are going to grab this game on just the hope that it's a good game? Because there's nothing. And it's going to be a good game. These are top quality programmers. We're sick of Christian things being made cheesy. We want this to be top quality fun. It's going to have more VR things that have been successful individually in one one game is going to fit the quest uh, for Japheth, Ham, and Shim. Uh, there's going to be at least three, like you said, three uh, games released. One for the quest of Japheth, one for the quest of Ham, and one for the quest of Shim. Please go to noahvr.net to see the game quest, to get in on it while you can, to help us make it. And uh, please uh, contact me through the website, anybody who has questions about it. But lo and behold, that's what we're going to do. He said there are tens upon tens of millions of Christians who will download this. I hope he's correct, and I believe he is correct, who are going to download it in the hope that it's good because there's nothing out there for families of faith around the scriptures. And real quickly, Dr. Henry Morris IV is at the Institute for Creation Research, is our chief science advisor. So this game will be loaded with creation facts that expose the lies of evolution. And, and I'm showing some of it right now on the screen. Can you see that or no? Uh, no, it seems blank on my end. I, I'm sorry, bro. But I'll, put, I'll put sharing on it. Uh, maybe maybe it, uh, it doesn't share on your end. Okay, that's fine though. Hopefully it's showing up on yours. No, it's not, I'm not seeing anything, but I was hoping it would show up. Yeah. I don't know why it's not. But they can visit the website and see some of the graphics. And this is us, like you just said, on a shoestring budget. We're about to get fully funded. And we need your help at this time to get to fill in the in-between. And they will also get a financial blessing out of that. However, we are pretty close to getting the larger uh, investment. And so that will put us to where we will have the game uh, able to beta test this summer and able to be released next Christmas. And at that point, like we saw on the screen where it said $121 million on Coinbase, I think that that was a sign from the Lord that if we don't quit and we keep on pace for what we're doing, he's going to bless us with that kind of money very soon. And like you said, that just founds, we're not here for just one game. We're here for founding an entire industry, a Christian establishment, a Christian industry. And we're, I was talking two days ago with some social networking programmers who are Christians, and they want to help us on Dove pages. We want to have our own wow. social, social Christian networking site and everything. Can, can we just show this? I don't know. Can you show it on the screen? Can you just go to Noah VR and show it? Because I'm trying to show something. I don't know if you can see it or not. I, I put sharing. I don't know if you have to do something on your end, but... I'm looking at these pictures and they look awesome. I'm just trying to show them. I, I can fill some in tonight if you would like. And no, we no, can... no, no, no. I'm trying okay. to show it on the screen right now. Gotcha, gotcha. Can you can you can you see anything? Um, I'm having trouble going on mine because it just something's going on with my Skype, and I had to reinstall it. And uh, hopefully, I'm kind of scared of messing it up right now while you're interviewing me. If that's okay. I'm trying to show some pictures. I have some. There. He has some new pictures here. I didn't see. These are really nice. Well, thank you. Um, yes. This one's really awesome right here. I can't even show up. Let me see if I can show a big. No, he has it set up to where he, I don't know what he's done with his, uh, I don't know how you guys put him on this website, but I can't really make it bigger or even save it. I don't know what's going on with that, but it looks Sorry. really nice, whatever it is. Thank uh, you, brother. The website called I mean, some really awesome pictures here. Uh, yeah, Justin's in working on the aerial scenes right now. It's all set no, this uh this area called Citadel uh, of Warriors of Elohim, I think is what it says here. Yes. And that one really looks cool. Yes. That's a really nice picture, man. There should be a Valley of the Nephilim and that in particular is That's gonna come out. Look into that. Yeah. The history, really cool, the history of the Nephilim will come out in the game as well as the exposing of evolution. The dungeon here, that looks really awesome too. Wow. Oh, thank you. It yeah, there's like going to be escape doing, rooms. He's really improved it. He's improved it a lot. It looks, he has. It's a lot better. Even. Yeah, Justin's and amazing. And, of course, it's only one guy pretty much working on it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, cause usually you've got like a team of 20 people or 40 people working on a game. we right. got like three guys here doing it, you know. And Yes. 
It's and, really and, awesome. But we get programmers, Christian programmers, all the time asking and hoping and praying we're going to break through because they want to leave the secular industry. They hate the bloodiness of it. Like I said, a lot of them worked on Assassin's Creed or Call of Duty, Black Ops 1 and 2, and they're like, dude, we just want out of that industry. We want to do biblical stuff. It was stuff. just like the music, the music industry is the same thing. We There's for a time where we couldn't break through with that either. Yeah. Yeah, eventually it happened. Now there's an entire industry. You're so, right, my brother. Uh, so I mean, we're gonna see it too with the games. I think it's gonna turn out really nice. This game looks really awesome so far, and all we have to do is just make sure it's clean and doesn't have a bunch of bugs because bugs are a huge issue. Even if a game looks really awesome, if it has bugs, it that just you're right. Because the gameplay is much bigger than people realize. It's true. The and gameplay is probably the biggest part of it. You're right. The, the brother. graphics aren't as big as people think it is, are needed. I mean, you can have awesome graphics if your gameplay is no good and no one's playing it. That's correct. You're so right. Yeah. And, so the gameplay has. I mean, it's like the game Apex Legends. I play that. It's the, the reason why people play that game is because it's so fast paced and it's just very, very, very quick, and you have to have, have really good skill to to win awesome. these days. And, I mean, it's like just milliseconds, you know, milliseconds of, of fast gameplay. And that's what people play. That's why people play it, because it's a very high-skilled, you know, fast-paced game. And I'm just hoping our game definitely has no bugs. I mean, no major bugs. There might be a few little ones. But I mean, little bugs are funny. People make funny videos about little bugs. They're like, oh, look, I found a hiding place. You can, like, hide in the wall. Right. I mean... Those are okay, but if it's a bug that makes it so you can't play the game or the game shuts off, you're like, no. Yes, you know, right. You're like halfway through the game and it shuts off. You yeah. didn't save it, you know, or something. It's just like And that's why we're hoping to have it available for beta testing this summer so that all our beta testers can work out the kinks. You know what I mean? Because no matter what yeah, you I make. Mean, if there's some funny, funny ones, then they'll be perfect because then people make videos about it and talk about it. And it's, yeah. You know, it's funny. Just leave the funny ones in there, but I mean, uh, <laughs> the ones that make the game no fun, you don't want those right. in there. Right. You're right, bro. <laughs> so correct. Yeah. So, anyway, it, it looks really awesome from what I've seen here, and uh, I, you know, so we're we're thinking, uh, sort of like Thanksgiving, Christmas, 2022. Yes. Which means we'll probably have it done before then. We'll just be beta testing it and yes. trying to get everything to you know Absolutely. market and all that. Yes, sir. Yeah, and. I, what I was trying to say earlier is that, uh, he was asking for a, he was talking about a marketing budget, and that's what I was trying to get at because he was like, you know, it could cost twenty thousand, thirty thousand. See, the marketing does it costs so much if you don't have a good game or you don't have a good product because if you have a good product, it will just take off on its own if you have the right platform. Amen. Subnautica so did. Steam, yeah. So if Steam is a really good platform, which obviously it is, it helped this, these other games like Subnautica take off. If you have the right game and it's really good quality, people want it. You don't need to have a huge budget. You just have to have a really good game on the right platform, and it'll take off on its own. Amen. And we have, um, because of Dr. Morris at ICR, uh, we have contacts to KLTY, the largest Christian radio station in America, KCBI, the fish out of Nashville, the fish out of Portland. A lot of Christian radio stations are going to pump this up through the ICR network because they, he like Dr. Morris said, he goes, I don't care. He goes, I don't care if ICR makes a penny of this or not. He said, all I want to do is spread the gospel. And he said, and spread the truth of creationism, you know. So he's using, he's plugged me in with a lot of Christian radio stations that will be plugging this one. And they reach millions of Christians every day. So I, yeah, th they're also going to pump thing, us up. I mean, that is really great. And I think it's going to work quite well. Um, and I think that's a good way to get the, get the sort of, uh, you know, word out about it. Uh, but I'm thinking also the steam is going to help on just on the overall with amen you know random random people seeing it yes. random because you don't want just you don't want just people that believe to be seeing it you want also those who don't yes and because that's the whole you know you kind of want to get it out to other people yes. that don't know about it yep don't know that don't know the truth of what 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 was created and all that you know what I mean amen um, so I think this is this is really great I I, I like the fact that uh, this platform can actually so Subnautica pretty much got there with uh, Steam, is what you're saying. Yes, that's it. That is where they made well, that's, that's amazing. almost so, two hundred million also, dollars worth. Yes, sir. Right. I mean, because people start playing the game, they start making videos on YouTube. You'll have players on YouTube, probably. I'm assuming. I haven't even looked, but uh, I'm guessing there's probably, probably a ton of videos on. And that, in of itself, kind of yeah. Here we go. 
that in and of itself gets people talking about it more, watching it, and it gets the word out. I mean, you got Jack Septic guy here talking about Subnautica. Um, yeah, so it it's like it, it it's kind of like it gets a jump started and going, and then everybody starts talking about it. I'm trying to show a screen share of it. Yeah, you got Jack Septic Septic guy playing it. If if you get a big YouTuber start playing it, you know, it gets out there. Everybody will see it. You yes, know what I mean? absolutely. So, uh, yeah, and, exactly. And can I share this too? Our late brother, uh, because of you, Tony, thank God for you, my brother, and because of our dear late brother, Rob Skiba, that's the only two major channels we've had exposure on yet. We have reached the, there. you wouldn't believe, over 34 countries in the world have asked about Noah VR or pre-ordered Noah VR and a bunch of them are Muslim that we didn't I started talking to Dr. Morris about it and a lot of the Muslims are writing me from Indonesia Qatar uh, Saudi Arabia Pakistan they want to wow. order this game because they honor Noah as a patriarch and they believe yeah. that the world was literally you know spoke like we do spoken into so existence by God audience. So it's going to cross a lot of lines and be a witness for the gospel. Right. We'll have a right. witness on the bar that Jesus is Messiah, so that he's not just a prophet. He fulfilled all these prophecies as Messiah. So if someone is in Pakistan playing the game or someone is in Indonesia and they're from a Muslim faith background, they will receive the gospel. All they have to do is click on this one menu. So it's going to reach so many people. It's not just this country, which can reach tens of millions still here in America, but it's going to go worldwide. We've already seen that because of your channel, bro, and because of our late brother, Rob. Uh, and it's killing me that he's gone now. We were so close. But thank God for you, my brother, and Justin and all of us still being in here together, me, you, and Tim, and just thank you, brother, so very